Morgan Scott reporting. Got a Trump, anti-Trump rally going. Can I ask you a question? YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Okay. Want to be on YouTube? Yeah. So why do you hate Trump? Because not only I list, I'm a diehard 70s, 80s, and 90s hard rock melhead, but I also listen to all types of music, especially Selena, meaning before Jennifer Lopez has betrayed her in 97, not to confuse with Selena Gomez, because when the real Selena herself said, if you work hard enough, the impossible is possible, you know, for a person like Selena being a Tex, um, Mexican American from Corpus Christi, Texas, and a president disparaging women, disparaging women and Hispanics, and since I have autism, a person, people with disabilities, taking away those rights. It, it's what rights? What rights is he taking away specifically? I I don't know. Um, the I don't know. Funds for people with disabilities, um, but that all of that crosses the red line because, especially since I also am in the Kiss Army, a band that s sings about um, going for what you believe in. I think Trump says, "Do not go for what you believe in." I think Trump likes rock and roll, though. Why? Why not? I know he probably likes Selena Dion too. Um, but for a person who Saved the life physically of Brett Michaels from a near failed brain hemorrhage, which helped him win the third Celebrity Apprentice. From that same era, I don't watch the show, but I yeah, I, but from that same era that Brett was in with his band Poison, another band Bon Jovi. Oh, Brett Michaels of Poison, yeah, I know Poison. So therefore, it's absolutely weak to say before you got elected the night before we don't need John Bon Jovi when John was part of that era of '80s rock too. Good, man. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, can I talk to you? Who am I? Who are you? Who are you? I'm a reporter, YouTube. YouTube reporter. Marcus Conti. What? Marcus Conti. You don't want to talk to me? I'm, the, I'm media. That's why we're here, right? You want to get your message out, right? No, I'm just asking you what's your I just told you three times. Marcus. Let me tell you again. Marcus Conti, I'm a reporter. On YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. Um, what's your channel? Marcus Conti. Marcus Conti? Yeah. You want to talk? No, I'm just... Uh, why do you hate Trump? That's what I want to know. Well, why do you love Trump? I'll just listen to the chants. I can't understand it. I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, well... You seem a little distant. Like, you don't really want to... You don't really want to get your message out. You more, more. Here, here it is, right here. You can well, read it to me. It's a video, you idiot. Right, man. Right, take a walk. Hey, how you doing, man? Can I ask you about the rally? Can somebody tell me about this rally? I'm trying to find out what's going on here. Join it. You can see. You want to do it that way? Here. Thank you. Hold your flyer up for me so we can see what's going on. Hey, can I ask you a question about your sign? Wow, a bunch of cock smokers here. Hey, can I ask you a question about your sign? Yeah, go ahead. So what do you hate about Trump so much? What, what drives you out here on Veterans Day? I don't hate him. I'm here to show support for veterans, and I would like to send Trump a message. I love our veterans, and I think he's trying to take this over and make it into a Trump rally. It's about the vets today. How so? He's taking this and making it into a Trump rally, President of the United States. Speaking at a veterans rally, how so? No other city president has come to New York City to do this. He chose to do to just come over here. He's totally in within his rights. He's all, the president is always invited. But what if he didn't show up? Then you then you they might say, oh look, he didn't show up for the veterans. I don't know what they're gonna say. I got a what else? Mind. What else about passed out? What what else about Trump? What's what's the problem? Thanks. I'm done. Done. Hey, thank you. Humanity first. Nobody has a clue here. Hi. 
Can I ask you a question about your sign? Um, you seem very, you seem very nice, but this crowd doesn't seem very nice. <laughs> hey, go fuck yourself. How about that? How about you go fuck yourself? How about you go fuck yourself? Tell me I'm bullshit. You jerk off. You old fucking idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, you old fuck. How dare you say I'm bullshit? You motherfucker. Who comes first? Humanity first. 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 Humanity first. Humanity first. Who comes first? Humanity first. Who comes first? Humanity first. What am I missing? Who comes first? Humanity first. Who comes first? Humanity first. Alright, there's a bunch of a bunch of separatist losers here. And nobody wants to talk. Go oh, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. All right, so uh, Marcus Conti reporting at the anti-Trump nonsense rally here. Woo wee! Bunch of fucking losers. Bunch of fucking losers, man. This is what the clueless look like. This is what the clueless look like. They don't even know what they stand for. Stand for something. Stand for something. What? Oh, fuck yourself. Hey, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, freedom of speech. You call me a motherfucker? You call me a motherfucker? Cop. Go ahead, raise your hands. I have you locked up. All right, you want to go to jail? Go ahead, raise your hands. Raise your fucking hands and let the police lie. Fuck you! What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything, you punk. Fucking scumbag. Excuse me. Alright, uh, you got it. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Which way are we going? Thank you. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything, you loser. You're a fucking loser. You're a loser. I'm sorry. Alright, you got it. Right. Which way are we going? This way. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you'll get me. All right. Jericho is going to get me. You heard him? We'll see about that. I'm not even a Trump supporter. I hate the guy. I'm not even a Trump supporter. I hate the guy. I hate the guy, but they won't talk to me. Hey, fake news, ABC. It's fake news. What do you think? What do you think of the event? You having a good time? I've got no comment. Just carrying the camera. Out there, was great. What else? You're just carrying the water for the establishment today, eh? That's it, man. It's all about that paycheck, yeah? Making sure I get that oil into the cogs. All right, man. Have a good day. All right, so uh, there's more there's more police on the uh, scene here than there is. There's more scene. There's more. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. There's more police. Alright, people I want to talk about. Alright, so I'm done here. Mark Scotty reporting. Get that little punk Antifa guy. I'll kick him in his balls. So, happy Veterans Day. <laughs> All these losers dissipate into the background. So, we're here at uh, Madison Square Park to salute our veterans. To salute our veterans. Oh, check out the horses, man. Fucking ho cop horse. 
Look at this, man. Beautiful horses, man. They're not horsing around. Definitely not horsing around, man. You gotta put those punks in their place, you know what I mean? Guy's screaming at me, you gonna shout me down? Oh yeah? All right. It's my city. <laughs> so we're gonna try to find some patriotic people here. Hey, hey, can I bring you into my frame? You guys look great. Marcus Conti reporting. So I, I was just, uh, my, my hands are a little shaken. I was just following an anti-Trump rally up here from 14th Street. What do you think about that? I would go the other way. No. <laughs> right, exactly. Yep, yep. yep. I'm, I'm all for it. And then when you try to, you see how open you are when you try to talk to these people? They're like, they, they, they don't, don't know what they it. mean. They do not want to hear it because they can't find any fault. You know, yeah. and nothing solid. Well, I can find. I, listen, I can find a lot of fault, fault in Trump. I, mean, I can also find a lot of fault in the Democrats. Right. But, but at least if you find fault, let's talk about it, right? Exactly. Tell me what. And, tell me what you like about him. Tell me what you don't like about right. him. Right. I mean, I feel like, yes, he does do some politically incorrect things, on, you know, Twitter. But he's not a politician. He's a businessman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, he says it the way it is, and people don't. Love that, you know. They don't. Right. Like, what about the economy, though? Do you think he's right on the economy? I do. I do. I absolutely do. I don't. I think he's. What I think. Th well, I don't think that trickle down economics really works. Well, I mean, I think. I think a, a system more where more of what Bernie Sanders is talking about. How you doing? <laughs> it's probably the way to go. Yeah. Oh yes, I have a lot of friends that support Bernie yeah. Sanders, Dan. <laughs> Hillary Clinton could go to hell, but uh, yeah. yeah, she's a. I think we all agree on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, good talking to you. Thank you. Hey, Thank can I ask you, you, how you doing, man? So are you here for, uh, you here for the veterans or are you here for Trump? Or both? I'm a patriot of the country, so I'm here for both and definitely supporting the veterans and thanking them for today for all that they've done for our country. Good deal. Thank you. True Appreciate American. it. What else, man? So, so what do you think about these anti-Trump people? They, they're starting to come in here infiltrating, making it more about them than anybody else. That is unfortunate because it's about the veterans today, and that's what we're all keeping in our prayers and our, our minds. That's why we're here celebrating the veterans. One right. focus. Hey, good talking to you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Patriots. Patriots. There's definitely a lot of uh, military folks here. Hey, can I bring you guys into my frame, veterans? Thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you. So, Marcus Conti reporting. We got, um, what are you here for? What's what's the uh, deal? I don't know anything about what's going on, really. It's Veterans Day, right? Yeah, it's Veterans Day. Are you here for the president? Uh, He's here for you, I think. Not really. I think uh, today should be only about uh, celebrating and honoring those uh, who actively serve and those of us who did serve. And... Uh, show our patriotism and our love uh, for this country. you think we're going the right way on war right now? Or lack thereof? Uh, it's not about that, right? No, Today it's not about that. In my mind, it's all about Veterans Day. It's yeah, all it's about, all about, about veterans, veterans Day. And women Us being vets, uh, we come in here to uh, represent, you know, show our uh, support among each other and all that. And, you know, like I said, this is our day and that's what we hear, you know. So the people can see us. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. See, that's what it's about. That's what it's about, right? Yeah. I went across down. We got some patriots here. Well, the sign that Trump is a criminal. <laughs> I think Trump is speaking right now. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell.
Hey guys, could you see Trump from up there? You can. You can? He's on the stage right now. What? Is Trump on the stage right now? I can't see. Yeah, he's speaking right now. Cool. You could see him where you are? Not his face, his teleprompter's in, the teleprompter's in his face. Teleprompter's in his face, okay. the first lady, clearly. You guys like see the first lady? Cool. Yeah. Very good, thanks guys. Are you here for Trump or are you here for the veterans or both? I'm here for both. Sounds good, thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, how do you think Trump is being So apparently Trump is on stage right now speaking. Hi. And um I sound his voice. Oh, it is his voice. There you go. So it's pretty quiet right now. I'm looking for the agitators. They didn't make their way into the crowd. It's definitely Trump speaking in the background. Excuse me. Hey, can I ask you a question about your sign? No? Can I ask you a question about sure. your sign? What crime did Trump commit? Money laundering. From where? Russia. Russia? You mean Russia again? You mean the fake story about Russia? You mean that you mean you. Yeah, thank you very much. Go fuck yourself too. Yeah. Have a nice fucking day, you fucking you loser. Asshole. You loser, you fucking asshole loser. Yeah. Old cunt. Excuse me. Hey, how you doing, guys? There's a lot of shady agitators around the side. Lucky for me, I mostly look like Antifa. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. It's not the Trump people agitating. It's not the Trump people agitating. It's the it's the losers sprinkled in that just can't get their head around that he's the president. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I'm so I'm so sorry. sorry. There's plenty of news here. Hey, are you a veteran? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Hey, Mark Scotty reporting. So uh, you here for uh, salute the veterans? Yeah. Are you a veteran yourself? I'm a veteran. Yeah. Where where were you and what? Uh, I was uh, National Guard stationed in the United States during the Vietnam era. Nice. Are you, are you supporting? Are you here for Trump? I mean, he's up no, there speaking right now. Trump. That's nothing to do with Trump, right? No. They're trying to make it about it. So there's people here agitating against and for. It's not about that, right? It's about celebrating the veterans today. Yeah. Do you think we're on the right course with uh, our current uh, foreign policy? Uh, some of it is okay. Some of it's not. Like abandoning the Kurds isn't a smart thing to do. Right. Still over there. Syria. In Syria. Continu yeah. Continuing it. Well, you know, I don't believe in continuing all these wars, but you can't abandon Syria, you know, one of our allies, and use the excuse that, you know, they didn't support us in World War II. Right, right, right. Or, or blame the Russians when they did support us in World War II. Yeah, correct. Do you, do you think, um, do, you, do you know who Tulsi Gabbard is? The, the I know who she is, yeah. You like uh, you like what she's saying? She's a veteran. Uh, she doesn't move me one way or the other. If you had a supporter of Tulsi Gabbard? No, I, I'm a reporter. I'm in the middle. I, I could care less. Who are you less. reporting for? 
Uh, it's just a, pr a private YouTube channel, you know. Okay. It's not private, it's public. Marcus Conti, uh, so. That's your name? Yeah, it's my name. And uh, a thousand people will see this. But it, it, it's, um, it is interesting because uh, you say you're not a Trump supporter. I'm not a Trump supporter. No. I voted for Bernie Sanders. I voted for Jill Stein. But, um, you know, how do we stop these insurgency wars, these counterinsurgency wars that mean nothing and you can't don't make us in? You know, every time. Uh, what about defunding them? Funding them? Defunding them. Oh, defunding them. I would Take away their agree. money. Yeah. I mean, as far as supporting, you know, these actions that are occurring all over the world or fund, it changes from day yeah. to day, yeah. you know? Yeah. From month to month, one you know we might support the Kurds now and not support them. It's kind of, we shouldn't be in all these countries to tell you the truth. Right. Can you can, you know for me it's like I can't name a single country that the United States intervened in, and it was a success. I mean, they, they're doing it right now in Venezuela. They did it all over you know South America. Correct. There's really no examples of it where it works. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Really good talking to you, man. Thank you very much for your time. If you YouTube my name on the top of the hat, Marcus Conti, you'll see the video. Thank you. Just keep walking. So the Antifa people tell you to go fuck yourself when you talk to them. But the Trump people are like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Very strange dynamic. Well, look at the real news. This is what real news looks like. Real news headquarters. Marcus Conti reporting from the real news headquarters down here at the Flatiron District. I'm sorry. I'm just, taking, I'm just having some fun. I'm just having some fun with your camera, with your stuff there. Hey, look, Roger Stone got a mention. Go talk to that guy. Hey, can I ask you about your son, about uh, Roger Stone? What do you think? He's uh, he's uh, incidental roadkill, right? Let him go. Well, he's uh, just caught up in the, the Russian collusion hoax, and he can't get a fair trial in D.C. Is he going to get a fair jury pool? It's already been it's already been determined that it's a it was a hoax that there was no collusion, no no uh, obstruction. Quite possibly no Russia at all, but Roger Stone is still getting dragged through the mud with uh, Corsi as well, J J Jerome. Right, yeah, I don't even know the story with Jerome Corsi, but uh, yeah, with, so, so right now with uh, Roger Stone, I'm just trying to bring attention to President Trump to pardon him at, at this point. I, I, well, right he hasn't now, been convicted. Right there's, nothing to be, there's nothing to be pardoned yet, you agree? I, I think that he could be pardoned already. You know, uh, from whatever he's accused of, he could be. They could lean on on the on the. Uh, Sorry, they could they could hear us. They could lean they could lean on the judicial system to let him go, just like Julian Assange. You agree? Yeah, Julian Assange is another one that should be free. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> good talking to you, man. Thank you, thank you very much. I had a good interview before. I, for some reason, I'm tongue tied right now. But right now, uh, it's because this guy's screaming in your stone. Yes. I will talk to the. You been having a veteran, yeah, yeah. That's all you could do, right? Stop fighting, you wasting your time. Are you with Trump or without Trump? I can't figure it out from your tone. <laughs> Say what? Are you, <laughs> are you for Trump or against Trump? I can't figure it out. You're gonna have to figure it out, right? I can't see the sign because I'm old and my neck doesn't go up. That I know you're for Trump, boy. Oh, he got bone spurs in his neck. Can you see? <laughs> are you a funny guy? Can you see Trump from up there? You can see him? Yeah. Because I can't see shit from down here. Yeah. Hey, thanks for sharing, man. I appreciate it. I, I, have, I have long hair, and they oh, think I'm oh, they yes. think I'm like Antifa or something. Oh, yeah. I voted for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> so you voted, but he didn't get on the ballot. He, he gave up to Hillary. So did you end up voting for he, Trump? No, I, I ended up voting for a, a Green Party. I can't, I can't vote for Trump because of the economic stuff that... Um, the the, perp, the the continuation of trickle down economics is a disaster for too many working people in the country. 
And based on that, I can't go. Yeah, but wages are actually going up. I mean, you can't deny what's those, going those on with the economy right now. I mean, well, uh, you can't deny with it. With job growth, uh, low, the lowest unemployment in history. I mean, you're going to vote the way you're going to want to. The number, the number three. 3.8% on unemployment is actually a fake number. It's more like real unemployment in the United States is probably around 15, 20%. Do you think it's better now or worse now than when Obama was in, in office? I think it's the same. I think uh, I, I think the billionaire class got bigger and fatter and well, wealthier. Well, wages and are going up. I mean, wages are going up. I mean, uh, the middle class are, did receive a tax cut. So yeah, I but the, the billionaire, the income and wealth inequality in this country has spread to astronomical proportions. 99% of the people are run by 1%. That's not going to change anytime soon. Well, not under Trump. Well, under who is that going to happen? It could happen under Bernie Sanders if they implement, if they if they get money out of politics and go in that direction. I think Bernie will bring us to socialism. And I think that... What is socialism? Right now, Define it. It's where the government controls everything. So I, I, I'm for capitalism. Well, well, we're, well, well we're for, but you, so I mean, you're well, for not, when, when billionaires. America to become Venezuela. I know that. When, when people, when, when, when billionaires game the system, they've gamed the system. Mm. It's like Monopoly. You're sitting at the table and they got all the money and all the, all the, all the pieces, right? And, and you ain't getting any. No trickle down for you. Well, do, do you want to tax them like uh, 80%? I mean, maybe 90. You, you come up and maybe You 90. deflate them because a billionaire with well, 100 they, but you know a what, guy with 100 billion dollars loopholes and they end up putting their money other right. places. Right now, I mean, you You're have, chasing to have a, a fair tax amount. At least they keep their money in America and then uh, as soon as he did those tax cuts, more money did come back to America that was in other countries. So that uh, that added to our economy. Right. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't hear anything from anybody that's going to uh, end up um, changing any of that. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I think someone like Elizabeth Warren or Bernie, they'll, they'll destroy the economy. Uh, that's really yeah. what, what I think. They have no, they I mean, have I, no I, backbone. And I, and I think even, you know, Bloomberg sees the writing on the wall. That's why he wants to jump in. He said he wouldn't jump in if Joe Biden was on there, and he's, he's already talking about going, and he's scared. Everybody's too far left. You know. Yeah. I think I, I, I would disagree with that, but I think that if Sanders is the nominee, he will, he will defeat Trump. Anybody else loses. Uh, I, I think that Trump is, is succeeding. The, the numbers are on his side. It's promises made. It's promises kept. I'm very happy with my vote. I'm going to vote again. I yep. mean, uh, there's hey, nothing deterring me. Good talking to you. I'm with you on right. Stone. Thank you. He's a smart guy. He's able to articulate his thoughts and his opinions in a gentlemanly way without calling you a, a loser and a... <laughs> So, I don't hear Trump talking anymore, so I guess it's over. There will be a parade today of veterans marching up uh, Fifth Avenue at some point. At some point, I don't know. Do we want to talk about talk to some more veterans? How are you doing? These are all veterans over here. It's about their day, not about politics, right? Hi. At least it should be, anyway. All right, I think I got the uh, feel for what's going on here. So Marcus Conti reporting from the Flatiron, Flatiron section of New York City, Madison Square Park, where Donald Trump is giving a speech, addressing the crowd across the street. I see Empire State Building over there. All right, so you know where you are. We're right under the famous Flatiron Building here in New York City. And um, tempers are definitely flaring. Tensions are high in the crowd. It's more about politics than about the veterans. I don't think I don't think you can blame Trump for that. I gotta watch these Antifa fucks. <laughs> All right, man. Marcus Conti reporting. 